guys, Shelby D3030 here with a piggy video. As you can see, there's my little guy down here. We are chilling on a Friday night. What are you guys doing tonight? Comment down there. Uh, yeah. So, um, this video is kind of going to be a little bit about a chilling video, kind of like showing things and doing kind of reviews, not really tonight. Like, not during this video. So, Hunter trying to eat the book. You chew on these, buddy. Not those. But anyway, um, so this video, like the first part, is going to be about um, chewing sticks. Uh, these come from the price about two to three dollars at PetSmart. Probably three to four, or the same price at Petco. But yeah, um, so there's five in a tub, or five in a package, but my other one right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, and this one's gonna be kind of a chilling video of Hunter Bear. Me. And how we're rolling tonight. I'm not really doing anything, but at 9 o'clock I'm watching Friday Night Cranks. So, Friday Night Cranks is like the prank show video. I'm sure you know them. They're pretty big on YouTube. But yeah, um, so these are chewing sticks. Now, to get your guinea pig to like them, you need to introduce them to your guinea pig. See? He's biting on them. I put them in front of his face. He likes the bike. So, yeah. Um, there is normally a green one, a red one, a blue one, an orange one, and the yellow one is in my cage. Or in his cage. So, yeah. Um, guinea pigs. Some guinea pigs actually don't like to chew on these. Hunter doesn't really show much interest in them. But, I don't know. I just bought them because they were on my list to get for a new guinea pig. So, yeah. Uh, now off to the manual. When you're getting a guinea pig, you want to have a right manual that shows information, good info. Like, this is Baron's... Aaron's guinea pig book. Yeah, this runs for about twelve ninety nine. Pretty good price. But full of information. There is one hundred and sixty one pages of information. I'm not gonna go through it all, but these are kind of the things that you should expect them to see. Like you have your contents, what's a guinea pig, the name game. And a whole bunch of other things. Now I'm just gonna flip to punch of pages and name them off some things. Iceberg lettuce. Um, actually, yeah, iceberg lettuce is not the best for guinea pigs. I would not recommend giving it to your guinea pig. And when you rinse your guinea pigs. Vegetables, um, make sure they're very well rinsed and there's no harsh chemicals left. The water depends where you live. Some water's clean, some water's not. But you use the water that you drink out of for your guinea pig. Like I have a filter in my fridge. That's where I get his water from. Sometimes I do bottled water. Yeah. So this one covers about safety. This one covers about behavior it's pretty interesting see if I can find a page on behavior yeah so there we go KV body language when a guinea pig is relaxed its eye its rested eyes are usually open and stretched out when it's laying down the situation is usually resting in home cage or familiar area the meaning is comfortable in environment safe and secure the function is resting Offensive stance. That looks like head raised, mouth open, forelegs extended, hind quarters crouched, accompanied by pilo erection and tooth chattering, head thrusting and running at opponent. That means that it wants to fight. 
Swing walk. In swaying, it tips from side to side to s while walking, accompanied by tooth chattering, purring, and circling. It's a male aggression towards another male or female when breeding. Depl it displays dominancy. Hair raising, which is a pilo erection, so that's not the weird one. A pilo erection is when it's hair raised. The normal fur lies flat against the body. P pilo erection, which is hair raising, causes the hair to stand up from the skin, usually around the shoulders. It's alarmed encountered with another animal aggression encountered between two males. It's a threat. Lordless, l Lord Lordis. Flattened back, raised hind quarters with hind feet placed apart. It means a female is asteroid encountered with a male. It's a, again a male responsive to females. Nose pointing up. Pointing the nose up and sometimes away. It means it's a posture. It's defense and male response to rebuff for female. Submission wards often attack from a dominant male. I'm not really going to say anything else, but... Oh, and the vocalization here, it says, A chirp is warning or distress. A chunt is exploring normal activity. Chutter is followed by a whine is distress and comfort. Low chur or purr. It's aggression, growl, threat, or fear. Grunt sec sound made by dominant male to, s to threaten to attack. Purring aggression sound made by males that are about to fight with each other. Scream, fear, concerned, losing a fight. Squeal, response to pain or injury. Tooth chatter can be... Con uh, sometimes while being padded, it happens. A fear or a threat, a conflict, depending on the circumstances. A tweet is a mother's son when cleaning babies. A whine is defense to trying to avoid a situation. A whistle is a call usually made by... Usually made to owner upon a greeting or demand for attention. Oh, these guys are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. But anyway, uh, you can get this book of PetSmart also. Like I got, um, I'll cover some more chapters in here a bit later on. But I'm eventually going to get through the whole book with chapters and telling you guys stuff. So yeah, um, see you guys later, and uh, we will probably have more videos soon. I know this one's a long one, but yeah, see ya. Wow, I totally, I totally rock.